Hello everyone, my name is Peter. I'm one of the reference librarians at Howe Library in Hanover, New Hampshire. Today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to get and use the Libby app for electronic books and audiobooks from the library. Howe Library is part of an electronic book consortium in New Hampshire called Overdrive. This is a free service. With your library card, you can borrow and download electronic books. Today you will need a mobile device, uh, like an iPhone or iPad, an internet connection, your library card, your library PIN, and a valid email address. Um, you may also need your uh, Apple ID and password. If you don't know what your library card number is or PIN number, please contact the library by email. I will provide the library's email address in the description to this video. That address is reference at the how.org. Okay, so let's get started. Today I'm using an iPhone on the iOS operating system. Um, to get the Libby app, which is an app designed by Overdrive, to use ebooks and audiobooks, navigate to the App Store from your home screen on your iPhone or iPad. So the App Store is the blue, um, the blue icon uh, with kind of a white A. Uh, for me it's at the top of my screen here so I'll go ahead and open that app. Um, and what you're going to want to do is um, tap on the magnifying glass in the lower right hand side of the screen and search for the app called Libby, just L-I-B-B-Y. And you'll see that Libby by Overdrive uh, comes up in the search results, so you can go ahead and click that. And the app we're looking for is the second from the top on that search. And for me, I just see a little cloud with an arrow um, in it. You might see the word get. Um, it shouldn't cost any money, so if you see some kind of price there, you're on the wrong app. So Libby by Overdrive. And I'll go ahead and click, uh, I'll go ahead and tap on the cloud with the arrow. That will start the, um, <clears throat> that will start the download process for that app to my phone. So it might take a moment or two, but uh, when you should see the word open. Um, but I'll go ahead and go to my home screen on my phone and I'll see that the Libby app is on the third page of apps. Um, you can rearrange the apps later if you'd like, but I'll go ahead and tap on the Libby screen to start using ebooks. So the app will open up and it might take a moment or two for it to start, but um, it just says gives you a nice welcome screen. Um, and it asks you if you have your library card. So for this video, I'll go ahead and click yes. And if you have questions about getting a library card, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, but I'll go ahead and go for this third option here, which says um, you can look up your library by name or location. So I'll tap on I'll search for a library. And I usually suggest uh, typing in the um, area code there. So for Hanover, we'll go ahead and do 03755 and we'll see the um, New Hampshire State Library with Hanover Howe Library. So I'll go ahead and, and tap on that maroon button there. And it will take a moment, but I will go ahead and choose a location within New Hampshire. So it's that first maroon set of words, choose a location. So go ahead and tap that, and we see what I call a little uh, kind of um, a wheel or a kind of casino wheel here. And I'll go ahead and scroll down to the town of Hanover, and it should just be under H. It will have the word Etna as well, so you can go ahead and tap on How Etna Library. And for this, you just go ahead and plug in your library card number. And I'll go ahead and do that now. And we'll see the next screen um, will be, I got a zero there, it's, it's a 14-digit library card number. Um, 
that's just the number on the back of your uh, library card and uh, the number for the pin which will be the next number asked for in the um, in the Libby app will be it's the default pin is the last four digits of your phone number that we have on file for you at the library um, unless you've changed your pin in the past but please feel free to ask us uh, you can ask us by email or um, call us and leave us a message if we're not there to ask about your pin so I'll pause the video here and what you should see is a screen that says okay you're signed in and at that point you'll just you're just going to want to go ahead and uh, tap on next and here you'll see the home page uh, note at the bottom of the page there's a shelf option which you can look at later to see what you have checked out but from here it's a little bit straightforward um, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down the page and there are new books um, so I'll go ahead and uh, tap on one of those and after you've selected a book um, you can borrow that and now there's a diff few different formats for this one um, and then I see a little note that says audiobook so I'll look at that and there are two parts of the process uh, once you've registered and log in one is to borrow a book and the next step is to download the book so I'll go ahead and click borrow and you get a screen that says um, asks you to confirm that you're borrowing a book for 14 days and um, the default may be set to seven days so you'll want to go into your settings to check that but at this time I'll tap on the maroon button for borrow and that will take me to the next screen um, in which I see a uh, down a downloading um, icon to the left which is just a small black square and a gray circle around that so as time goes by your internet connection will be downloading the book so I'll go ahead and pause the video now okay and after a moment or two you should see that there's an option to open audiobook uh, it might take a few minutes to download the entire book but um, you can go ahead and tap on um, open audiobook that will bring you to a listening screen um, this is the introduction to a book called joy at work with a uh, play button in the middle of the screen uh, there are a couple other options you can experiment with like the menu button at the top right but uh, at that point you can just go ahead and tap on play and the book should start to play the audio um, and it might just take a moment or two for it to start up there but um, if you don't hear the book, you can check on your, um, uh, your audio settings on your phone. But in any case, you can scroll to different points of the book. Uh, you can change the um, chapter and you can set bookmarks as well. So I'll just go ahead and tap on back. Um, you can check your shelf to see what other items you might have out. Um, you can also place holds. I won't go too in depth in, in this video on that, but keep in mind that these are electronic books. Um, there are not an infinite number of copies. In other words, there will be a waiting list for popular titles. Um, you can place a hold on these items and you'll receive a notice via email when the item is available to check out. Uh, the service is free and there are no late fees. You can return ebooks early to free up a checkout on your account and you can check out up to three items at a time. Uh, Overdrive provides a free troubleshooting website where you can look for information about the Libby app and Overdrive services. Um, to do that you could just google the words Overdrive help and it's uh, the first uh, result that will come up on that. Um, and beyond that, uh, you really can't break the app, so I encourage people to play with the app and experiment with searching for titles, checking out titles, downloading, uh, returning, placing holds, and things like that. Um, 
And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the library. Um, and you can look at the uh, Overdrive help menus as well. Um, thank you for watching this video and good luck with the Libby app.